has is getting all that soil wet, getting things a little bit recharged as far as moisture goes. And that is a very good step in the right direction. Naturally, your first few snowfalls, at least at our lower elevations, melt off. That's just the way it works but it is nice to see us starting to tap into that moisture. Uh, look at your NorCal Honda Weather Center forecast here in the Bay Area. Doesn't show any moisture for us. We're on the opposite side of things. We are very dry and because of that, have some red flag warnings in effect today. Not because of the heat, but because of winds paired with that dry weather. The Golden Gate Bridge this morning, beautiful and crystal clear, swaying in the breeze that we have present across the region. If you look north of Lake Tahoe, we actually did see some additional snowfall over the weekend from the Southern Cascades to the Northern Sierra, which has certainly been very welcome to see those areas of moisture popping up, at least for our Northern neighbors over the weekend. Now, red flag warnings in red, in effect right now in upper elevations of the peninsula and the North Bay, all of Solano County and then the inland East Bay all being affected by these red flag warnings all the way through 5 p.m. tomorrow. If you're not in red flag warning territory, which is most of us, you are in those golden hues indicating a wind watch, which is also an effect all day long today. Gusts of wind gusting as high as 20 to 30 miles per hour for all of us. Mountaintops as high as 60 miles per hour today, which means any sort of spark could result in a fast spreading fire start. Now temperatures mostly in the 60s to low 70s for your daytime highs. Palo Alto at 67, San Jose also at 67 today. A range of low 70s from Castro Valley through Oakland, while Walnut Creek and Danville each at 72. Our hottest spot today, not hot at all, is Vallejo at 77 degrees. It's as warm as we're getting. Really, the big catch to today is the wind and the fire danger that comes along with it. Today and tomorrow are windiest and thus our highest of fire danger days. After that, fire danger diminishes while temperatures increase. We'll be in the 80s by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Sierra Nevada also will get a little warmer, which means a little more snow melts up there. But nothing exceptionally hot, and with winds calming down after tomorrow, a much calmer and less heightened fire danger forecast. Raina. John, thank you for that. We have a hot spot already this